Gustavar har två halsor, heter Malin Röd, Henke Gustafsson Lidgen, Henke Lidgen Blå och Karl Sönda Norrby. Scandinavian Speedway final. Henrik Gustafsson is in red, Bo Peterson in blue, Yano Peterson in white, and Brian Carger in yellow and black. So two riders on five, one on three, and one on two. And we're in for some cracking racing as the sun still beats down on a wonderful setting here in Linköping in Sweden. Starting Marshall calling him in now. Bo Peterson, the last one to go in. He's now happy. We wait for the start of heat number nine. And away they drive from the start. And the first one to show is Jan Peterson in white from Denmark. Henrik Gustafsson and Brian Carger dicing. It's Carger in second place. Gustafsson third and Bo Peterson back and forth. But Jan Peterson and Brian Carger, the two Danes, doing the biz. Oh, my word! Bo Peterson has taken out Henrik Gustafsson completely. He clipped him and Gustafsson is on the track in some discomfort. Oh, my word, a bit of tragedy for the 19-year-old who really is the highlight of Swedish Speedway at the moment. Became a father just 14 days ago to Tiny Simon. We keep our fingers crossed. Let's take another look at that. Bo Peterson all over the place comes out, just T-bones Henrik Gustafsson completely and sends the youngster from Kumla flying over the top of his handlebars. And we'll have to wait and see if poor Henke can uh, take his place. We see the blue light is on, so Bo Peterson has been excluded from the restart of heat number nine. We just keep our fingers crossed that Henrik Gustafsson is okay to take his place in the restart. Here we see Henrik Gustafsson in caption, the long-haired boy. Bo Peterson, who's been excluded, that's the cause of the stoppage. 
I don't think there's any argument about that, but there he is, look, 19 years of age. Doesn't seem none the worse for the wear. The crowd, I must tell you, in Sweden are so enthusiastic these days. It's a new, brand new era of Swedish racing. 1990, the Elite League is best, supposed to be the best in the world, and I can tell you that it certainly is. And Henrik Gustafsson is one of the characters who really makes it a treat to watch Lou, that particular league. Yellow Peterson in white, and Brian Carger in yellow and black. That's the three riders for the restart of heat number nine. And the way they drive from the start, who's the first one to show? Well, it's the same rider as Yellow Peterson in white, Brian Carger in yellow and black, trying to drive down the outside. Henrik Gustafsson back in third. Peterson so, so immaculate on that machine. Tuned to perfection by Otto Weiss from Germany, his major sponsor. Good job on those engines. Brian Carger back in second place. A broken rocker arm was diagnosed for his engine failure first time out, which could be just rather expensive for the young Dane. Daniel Peterson still in first place, Carger second, and Gustafsson to be in this race and getting the one point. But still, Jano Peterson, of course, who rides in the English League for Craigie Heath in the Midlands at Dudley Wood. The all-action tiny day. So unlucky at World Championships never to win the title. Is 1990 going to be his year? He comes up to take the checker flag. It's Jano Peterson that wins. Brian Carger second. Henrik Gustafsson third. So Jano Peterson from Denmark gets three more heat wins after a duff first outing. In the interval, he tells us that his engine was seizing up and he just decided to drift round to try and get the point if anybody fell off or had engine problems. So now out to try and get his third win of the Scandinavian final. Henrik Gustafsson in blue. Just damaged his thumb in that spill in heat number nine. And in red, Einer Killingstad won on two points, sadly out of things, but uh, he could mix it in this particular heat. So the two to watch really will be blue, Henrik Gustafsson, and in white, Hans Nielsen. The starting marshal is getting a little bit impatient with Einar Killingstad. Calling him now into the line. He's clear, the green light goes on, and the tapes rise on heat number 16, and who's going to get to the first bend? It's Hans Nielsen in white. Hans Nielsen in white, first to show. Then the back straight is Hans Nielsen, yellow and black is Oli Trevain in second. Now Henrik Gustafsson coming up to put pressure on Oli Trevainen. Gustafsson back in third, which is a little bit of a surprise to say the least. Especially that you see Oli Trevainen in second place. Oh, look, Henrik Gustafsson coming up alongside Oli Trevainen. Hans Nielsen well clear of the pack, but all eyes are on the, the battle for second and third place. Two laps gone, and just look at these two. You could throw a blanket over them. Yellow and black is the fin. Oli Trevainen in blue from Sweden. It's the crowd for getting very, very excited. Willing him on to win. Henrik Gustafsson cuts underneath Oli Trevainen. Has he got the speed with one more lap to go? Still Trevainen holds on. Hans Nielsen still one in front. Trevainen just wide. Can Gustafsson make up any ground? It's neck and neck as they have the final two turns. Trevainen on the outside. Gustafsson on the inside. Cuts underneath him. It's a race to like Gustafsson just gets there. And Holly Trevainen is in third. Just listen to the crowd go crazy. It's Hans Nielsen that wins. He just wasn't aware of what was happening behind him. I'm sure he thinks he approved. Red, Jan Peterson blue, Jimmy Nielsen in white, and Henrik Gustafsson in yellow and black. So three Swedes and one Dane. Keep your eyes on the riders in white and yellow and black as the tapes rise. And away they drive from the start. Has Jimmy Nielsen got the speed into the first turn? Colin Everson there and Henrik Gustafsson. Henrik Gustafsson coming round the outside of the pack. It's Henrik Gustafsson first through from the pack, round the outside of Jimmy Nielsen to go in first place. Jimmy Nielsen second, Colin Everson third. So Henrik Gustafsson, if he can win this one, will be on 11. Jimmy Nielsen looks over his shoulder, sees it. He's back in third. So the three Swedes in scoring positions. And my word, they're looking pretty good for places in that Intercontinental final. But it's Henke Gustafsson in first place. Took a nasty fall in heat number nine, but he's bouncing back with tremendous style. Here we are in heat number 19, and uh, we're looking pretty good for three points with one more lap. Oh. The air coming out of the back of the crash helmet. The wheel, the front wheel in the air, around the final two turns of heat number 19. 
Henrik Gustafsson from Crumler Speedway in the Elite League takes a checker flag. We look over our shoulder, Jimmy Nielsen slowing up. Con Everson comes through to get second place. And Jimmy Nielsen content with third. So while wow, it's a bit of Swedish, Swedish comradeship coming out there, it's Henrik Gustafsson plays to the gallery as he wins heat number 19, finishes on 11. Con Everson also finishes on 11, and Jimmy Nielsen does as well. And who can blame this young fellow, 19 years of age, celebrating the birth of his son just 14 days ago. Young Simon is here tonight to watch him, and he's through to the Intercontinental Final of the World Championship. And the Swedish crowd will love a trier, and there's no better trier than Henrik Gustafsson. In yellow and black, all these riders finishing on 11 points, and the green light goes on. Oh, 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 oh my word! And Snelson drives over the tapes, and the white light goes on. So Hans Nielsen is excluded from the restaging of this third place runoff. So the calculations mean that Hans Nielsen finishes in sixth place on 11 points. So it's just the three Swedes left to battle for third, fourth and fifth. And Hans Nielsen excluded for tapes of fence in heat number 20. So the three remaining riders back to the line. Jimmy Nielsen, red gate one. Henrik Gustafsson, blue, gate two. And on the exciting side in yellow and black is Connie Everson. The runoff for third position of the 1990 Scandinavian Speedway Final. The green lights on, and the way they drive from the tape from the first to show is Henrik Gustafsson and Connie Everson. Jimmy Nielsen on the inside of the pack, but it's Henrik Gustafsson just for Connie Everson. Blue, yellow, red in that order. Henrik Gustafsson, just 19 years of age. Is he set for a third rough, third place position in his first ever appearance in the Nordic final? Well, he's now got a little bit of leeway between himself and Connie Everson. Two laps gone. Henrik Gustafsson first. Connie Everson second. Jimmy Nielsen third. So at 19 years of age, surely the future is at his doorstep for the rider in blue, Henrik Gustafsson, as he takes the flag for one more lap. Connie Everson. In second place in yellow, Jimmy Nielsen third in red. So what a way to celebrate the birth of your child of 14 days ago, young Simon, in the crowd in Lynn Chirping to celebrate his father's win in the runoff for third place here in Lynn Chirping. In fourth place overall is Connie Everson. In fifth place is Jimmy Nielsen. But this rider in blue, Henrik Gustafsson, to the applause of the crowd, who gets third place here in Lynn Chirping. Well deserves that fact. Overcame a nasty looking fall, bounces back to gain third place on the rostrum in the 1990 Scandinavian Speedway final. His young Hanka plays to the gallery. It's not quiz doing the bit in that runoff in seventh place on nine. And commiserations to Brian Carger, who goes to Fieldstead as reserve on nine points. But what a day for Swedish Speedway. This time last year in Finland, it was Denmark who had five riders through. And here in the Scandinavian final in Linchirping, it's the Swedes with all smiles. The, there's the other riders who will just be known. Is also runs and names in history books. And Kainimi, the top man in ninth position on six points. But congratulations to those Swedes on making it the field step.